This is not getting major traction the way it should, especially on the national stage. And I would like to see the story get something more that it deserves. See, a lot of the national media has written off Florida at this point, right? Oh, they're just a red state now. Oh, DeSantis is popular in his home state. He sailed to victory. DeSantis cheated. He did a variety of incompetence and cheating to get where he is right now. You see, back in 2010, Florida amended its constitution. It did something good. It amended its constitution to stop redistricting based on bipartisanship, right? So you can't draw maps anymore. Draw the maps around the people you like and then declare yourself the victor, which is what redistricting does. So DeSantis, a few late years later, brings up his own map. And it's so aggressive that even his own legislature doesn't want any part of it. They fight him on it for months, and it goes back and forth, back and forth, and he finally overrides them and rams that map through. This is the map that was used here in Florida for this election. Now, ProPublica did some digging, and what they found out was this was not a map made by DeSantis and his administration. He called it outside help from the GOP. He called upon their major redistricting specialist and worked with them as a team. And they made the map for him and he presented it to the, tech, or to the Florida legislature as if it was their own, which is against the law. You cannot do that. So now he may have found out, we may find out he did indeed break the law. It's difficult to tell unless you're familiar with Florida, but this is the new map that was drawn. Right down here, off to the left of the map where it says Tampa is where I live. And this area is one of the more populous areas around here next to Tampa. It's the St. Petersburg, Clearwater area, and that is blue last map. Now it's almost all red. All around Tampa has been taken over as red. He has confined the tiny blue areas to the Orlando area, Fort Lauderdale, and even Miami has mostly flipped over to red. This is an illegal map. It should not have been allowed to have been used. Then you combine this with the fact that DeSantis literally had his own election interference observer police stationed at polls all around here, intimidating people so they don't want to vote. And what did he do right before the election? Do you remember? Yeah, he took all... He picked on those poor people that had been released from jail, been told they could vote, and then publicly arrested them to big fanfare to show that he was a big, tough guy when it was his own administration's failure that told these people that they could vote. And when they did, he arrested them for it. And most of those people are going to be let go because they realized it wasn't their fault. But it held long enough for black people and people of color to be afraid and for people that that normally would vote for Democrat in high numbers that had come out of prison and wanted a better way of life to stay away from those polls. He cheated. He cheated. 